So uh, what is sentiment analysis? Now we have more and more data coming up, more and more text data, voice data. And how do we interpret this data? How do we elicit emotions from the data or to understand uh, if the data is giving us positive uh, emotion, negative or sometimes neutral emotion? How do we do that? Or what do we actually mean by sentiment analysis? So more and more organizations want to understand um, customers, more and more researchers want to understand what their respondents are thinking, how they are expressing their views. And with the emergence of data, like more review sites, more write-ups, more blog posts, it's really important to understand what type of emotions are shown in, these, in this type of data. Hey, what's up? Uh, Faizan here from Research Beast. Um, on this channel, I share different tips and tricks for researchers, different motivational talks, and I also talk to experts about the research methods or anything related to research. So if you're interested in content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. So sentiment analysis is basically one method that helps us detect polarity within the text, which means we we are able to see if the text is showing a positive emotion or a negative emotion or a neutral emotion. So in today's video, I have invited my very good friend, Dr. Rabnawaz Lodhi, who is a trained expert in NVivo, to show us how can we use NVivo to um, elicit emotions from within a big chunk of text. So we'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use NVivo to uh, conduct sentiment analysis if you have a big chunk of data. So do not go anywhere, coming up next. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rabnu Aslodi and I'm going to share my knowledge about sentiment analysis using NVivo software. So first of all, we need to understand what do you mean by sentiment analysis? Sentiment analysis is the process of determining the opinion of the feelings about the piece of text. So it is all about discovering people, opinions, emotions, feelings about a particular product or service. So sentiment analysis convert the unstructured data into structured information about product, about brand, movies or services, particularly the services or the quality of services. We, we can classify specific emotions in different categories like uh, positive, neutral or negative. So uh, you can see this particular picture. There are two signals. One is positive, one is negative. So there is also some realities between two extreme values of positive and negative signal. So uh, sometimes people are not too much positive. Sometimes people are not too much negative. So there, there are different values between the extreme values of positive and negative. But normally in sentiment analysis, we categorize the responses into three major uh, categories, like negative, like positive, and there is uh, neutral between positive and negative. So this is the system of knowing about positive or negative opinion based on the emotions and these emotions may include the anger, anxiety, fear, or hate, excitement, joy, glad, hopeful, or relaxed. So these are some kinds of uh, emotions. So we express our emotions in different symbols, in different kinds of signals. So this is the sentiment analysis, and this is very useful for the companies to review the websites, blogs, social media and uh, companies worldwide apply this technique to assess the opinion of their customers about their products. So after getting the response from the customers, companies know what they like and what they dislike. So they can display the reviews for their potential customers uh, to choosing the right product for getting customer confidence. So 
it is very recommended and uh, worldwide companies are using this system to provide guidance in the in the form of pre uh, sale service so uh, we can also say this is the measurement of heartbeat of the customers while consuming their products so companies measure the opinion and feelings of the customers while they uh, they are consuming the products so this is all about uh, sentiment analysis now this is the time to discuss how we can conduct sentiment analysis using envivo software so this is the latest version of envivo software with full features and vivo 12 plus and now we need to create a new project so after installing and activating and we were softer we need to create a blank project how we can create a blank project it is too simple we need to click on blank project option software will ask about the title of the project so i need to give the title sentiment analysis so i need to click ok it will take time to create your project so now my project is ready now i need to put the data in this particular software and this is very powerful software you can analyze your themes you can apply grounded theory you can conduct the social media analysis you can analyze your pictures your videos your interviews focus group discussions so all these kinds of data this software uh, sports all these kinds of data so uh, after creating the project now i need to import my qualitative data so i uh, i want to share with you people that uh, i'm going to analyze uh, the interviews and uh, uh, there are so many options in envivo if you want to analyze the data from social media uh, like you want to apply the sentiment analysis you can apply on the social media data and uh, if you want to analyze the data uh, from interviews from pictures uh, from other sources of data so you need to select your data source so today's session i would like to analyze the data which is based on the interview files so the next in the next step i need to import the interview files so these are my interview files from respondent 1 to respondent 7 so i need to import all these interview files i have selected one file and by using shift and arrow key i have selected all these interview files now i'm going to open simultaneously and uh, it will be imported automatically in envivo software so uh, this power software is filling this particular power you can see this is the green signal and uh, yes it is going up oh my goodness i have these interviews in the uh, list box so i need to transcribe all these interviews one by one so transcription is not the topic in in this session so i would like to just open this interview just click to edit and uh, i have this file demo one file yes i have already transcribed data i need to just select the textual information and uh, i need to cut it how i can cut it control plus x yes now i need to in the content box so software will automatically save it i just want to close it now i am moving toward respondent 2 same steps we are going to perform i need to put the transcribed information control x and control v so i have successfully put all the textual information in the recorded interviews so same step we need to perform cut and uh, then paste now i just want to discuss the different types of this in these interviews uh, for example in our first three files i have video recorded interviews i can open it and uh, these files like respondent 4 respondent 5 and respondent 6 these are uh, the interviews 
which is already in uh, the textual form like uh, henry is asking question barbara is giving the answer so this is not the uh, interview uh, in the recorded form so we have three files and uh, we have last file respondent 7 which is in uh, in the form of audio so now uh, after transcribing the data now uh, i would like to apply the sentiment analysis so how i uh, i would like to uh, apply there are so many methods for the sentiment analysis so uh, i would like to share the best method which is auto coding so, uh, by auto coding we are going to apply sentiment analysis maybe uh, in the future we'll also record some short videos uh, regarding sentiment analysis on uh, notes comparing notes with uh, the opinion uh, about the feeling of the person so that would be the different sentiment analysis so uh, now today's in today's session i'm going to apply the sentiment analysis using auto coding option so uh, how i can apply this option one, one by one I, I need to select my interview file and uh, i have to uh, i need to click on home ribbon bar there are different ribbon bars like file form import create explore and share so i need to click on home ribbon bar there are different options so i need to click on auto coding option auto coding mean software will automatically create different codes so based on the different criteria so i need to op, uh, i need to select this particular file i need to select home ribbon bar i need to select auto coding option so if i click on this auto coding option uh, there are different options if you want to create or identify themes automatically soft you can select this option software will automatically uh, extract different themes based on the frequency so i need to magnify this option just to show you the function the wonderful function uh, of this option this is automatically analyze your files and identify frequently mentioned ideas or concept so those ideas uh, which are repeating uh, again and again uh, so software will automatically select those ideas or themes so uh, that would be the auto coding uh, for identifying the themes but today's session i would like to share the auto coding for identifying different sentiments i have already shared that sentiment analysis is the process to convert the unstructured data into structured information and uh, this is all about the feelings of the people so uh, now if i select this option identify sentiment uh, software will guide us that uh, software will automatically analyze the emotion tool in your files and code the sentiment from very positive to very negative so uh, we need to select next and uh, here we have option if we select sentence then definitely software will select the particular sentences where software automatically feel that these words are the feelings uh, negative feelings or the positive feelings and if we select the par paragraph software will automatically select the relevant paragraph where uh, uh, where the feelings uh, are uh, uh where software uh, identify some feelings some negative or positive feeling so if we select uh, the entire cell then definitely uh, the entire information will be selected so uh, uh, it would not be recommended because it will be more generalized so you need to select either uh, code paragraphs or code uh, sentences so i'm going to select the code 
paragraph. So I need to select the whole paragraph regarding a particular feeling, uh, the feeling either in negative or positive. So I need to select finish. Hey guys, if you think if you think you are getting some value out of this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would also appreciate if you can share this video within your um, within your uh, social networks or within your networks of people that may need this video. Going back to oh, I need to select sentiment uh, analysis, and uh, there are different positive and negative sentiments. So software has automatically analyzed the feelings about respondent one, uh, the positive or moderately positive. There is one res response and uh, there are two very negative responses. So one by one, I need to apply this command again and uh, I need to close this matrices. This is respondent second. I need to select respondent second. I need to uh, click auto code option. Identify sentiment. Next and uh, paragraph. Finish. Oh, that's great. Respondent second also provided the mixed responses. Mixed mean positive and negative so this is the mixed responses i need to apply the same command on respondent three so i need to select great now i need to select respondent uh seven so in respondent four you can uh, see that uh, there are different mixed responses positive and negative some positive and some negative and the major portion is neutral so respondent for is neutral person so i need to select respondent seven auto code identify sentiment next paragraph finish so software is more intelligent it has ability to pick the words regarding emotions so automatically software identify different feelings of the people during the interview, either positive or negative or mixed. So I need to apply the same command for respondent six. So the first step is to select the respondent and then select auto code option from the home ribbon tab. Identify sentiment, next paragraph, finish. And now I have last respondent five. I need to select respondent and then auto code, identify sentiment, next code paragraph, finish. That's great. So automatically, you can also export these um, hierarchy charts. You can export. Uh, this is the respondent wise hierarchy chart. You can put in your thesis, in your research paper. There are two types this type and this particular type. And uh, in the end, now we need to check the total responses. And uh, we need to select sentiment navigation option. Yes. These are the sentiment positive, but there are two values in the positive, very positive or moderately positive. So in our data, there are seven files total. You can see if we click on files, there are seven respondents, respondent one to respondent seven. So if we click on sentiment, there are seven respondents participated in this uh, during the sentiment analysis. So uh, four out of seven, they responded, they, uh, they provided the responses uh, moderately negative and uh, 
this is the frequency uh, of the repetition of their same statements negative statements so for example if four people are saying that they are moderately negative toward a particular phenomena so uh, they are again they are repeating their statements again and again so if they they are repeating their statements then definitely the references will be more a software will code the references more and more so this is the frequency of uh, repetition of the same statements and uh, actually four people out of seven they contributed uh, moderately they contributed moderately negative responses and uh, uh, six out of seven they contributed uh, contributed very negative responses and similarly if it uh, if we go on the positive side uh, there are the two options very positive and moderately positive so seven out of seven people also contributed uh, the moderately positive sign their feelings and uh, three out of seven they contributed that uh, uh, they are very positive toward a particular phenomena so this is the sentiment analysis okay audience uh, now you have a good news uh, this is the software and uh, we are human being so after applying this sentiment analysis after applying this particular option you need to uh, and you need to put your analysis uh, by uh, you need to put your efforts to analyze the actual words and uh, uh, i can say this this would be the audit practically you need to open one by one all the sentiments like uh, uh, this is the very positive option you need to select this very positive option if i double click uh, on this particular option software will open this particular sentiment and uh, in this detail box you can find that these are very positive words i enjoyed uh, i would like and uh, kids particular area i wanted him to see and uh, these are very positive we stayed we love okay fell in love so i enjoy the weather it's too nice hot summer i like hot weather so all these are very positive words beautiful environment beautiful landscape so uh, if you click on this particular option uh, the second option uh, which is moderately positive you can find some words which are very, which are not so positive but still positive so uh, these are some words but if you go on the extreme side which is very negative words if you could open this particular sentiment how we can open just double click this option software will open this particular sentiment in this detail box and now remember it uh, now uh, mind it that uh, there uh, these words are very negative like uh, for example if you uh, read this passage stressful event risk factor and uh, uh, there are so many negative words depression and uh, magnesium deficiency okay so these are some negative words you can find uh, negative words anxiety suicidal injury okay traumatic brain so these are very negative words iq loss addiction okay so on the basis of these negative words software automatically identified uh, those negative words about a particular phenomena so this is basically the post analysis audit and uh, you need to 
check because software is software and you are the human being you need to counter check you need to conduct your audit just to confirm that software has successfully identified the very positive or the very negative or moderate moderately negative or moderately positive words uh, and uh, the analysis you need to confirm that the analysis is realistic so uh, this is all about sentiment analysis and uh, uh, i just want to repeat again that uh, we have conducted the sentiment analysis based on the auto coding option so there are so many other types of sentiment analysis we can also apply sentiment analysis on the social media we can also apply sentiment analysis on the pictures we can also apply sentiment analysis on the focus group discussion so uh, uh, our next videos will be one by one will make some videos on uh, different types of sentiment analysis